Knocking noises from engine bay, put in new timing parts. That sounds reasonably interesting. Let's take that. Okay, hide that. Let's have a look at the condition. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you've got an exhaust problem down there. Front exhaust section. Turbo. Belt tensioner, timing belt, and water pump. Right. Let's get you on the lifter, mate. Let's have a look at your car. Right, let's get inside the engine first. We... Is it a timing belt we're going for? I think it said. I'm trying to remember the list now. Water pump R4, timing belt, and belt tensioner. Well, that's going to come off. Belt tensioner. Serpentine belt B. Serpentine belt A. Crankshaft, idler pulley, alternator. Turbocharger. <laughs> Starter. Oil pan, oil filter. Okay. Power steering pump. Some new pieces in here from the original car mechanic. Throttle. Intake manifold. This is cool. Timing belt cover, that's got to come off. No, we can't take the timing belt cover off because we need to take all this nastiness off first. Accessible from wheel side on lifter. Are you kidding me? I'm on the wheel side. Oh, no, I'm not. Dang it, I have to take the wheel off just to get at that lot. Okay. Can we get in there now, please? Accessible from engine bay. What? <laughs> this thing lied to me. Right, can we move the camera down there? Thank you. That's better. Right, serpentine bell. I'm just going to take the lot off. I don't care. Water pump R4, that's definitely one to be replaced. Let's go for examine mode. No, exam. No, examine mode. Condition unknown. 64%, 65%, okay. Disassemble. Uh, what have we got? We've got the water pump out. Let's look at my serpentine A and B. Belt tensioner. We don't have the timing stuff yet, do we? Because it's up here. Now we need to take all this off first. Crankshaft pulley. Can we get it now, maybe? Timing belt cover? Yes. There we go, you beautiful timing belt. What was the order? Belt tensioner, timing belt, water pump. We've got those. Knocking noises from the engine. Front exhaust section turbo. We've got to get underneath the thing to do that. I don't know why I've got the wheel off now. I don't need the wheel off now, do I? Let's put the wheel back on. I can't believe the state of people's alloys. I should offer an alloy cleaning service. Make a lot of money. Like $50 per tyre, per wheel. Up you get. Oh, you know what? I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling. I'm going to have to take off the entire suspension to get this thing. Oh, nasty. Nasty, nasty. Front exhaust section turbo means taking off the turbocharger. Do we need to take that off as well? Ah, we can do that from here. You still can't get that without... Okay, lesson learned. 
Got to take off the turbo first. It's so it seems. I think. Yeah, four bolts holding on the turbo. Turbo out. And we've got to lift it back up again. Do mechanics really have to go through this faff? Like up and down kind of faff. Right, now, is there anything that we can... Where am I? Anything that we can repair? Maybe. 71%. That doesn't need repairing anyway. So that's all good. Water pump. Our four water pump. A belt tensioner. A timing belt. And a front exhaust section. Okay. Timing belt. This is just a straight timing belt. Want a water pump R4. Just that one. Isn't it a belt tensioner, I think? Right, let's have a look. Front oh yeah, the front exhaust. Water pump R4 we've bought. We've got one of those new. Let's get rid of that. The belt tensioner, we have the timing belt, which is that one. So front exhaust section for a turbo and a belt tensioner, that's all we need. Belt. Front exhaust section turbo. That's that one, isn't it? That's quite cheap, $75. Blimey, I was expecting it to be quite expensive. Front exhaust section for a turbo. Job done. Belt tensioner. Job done. Okay. Let's go into assembly mode. Fit your new thingy, my bobby. Fit the cat. Bring that down, put the turbo back on, and reassemble the whole timing bit. That's what we're looking at here. Zoom in, zoom out, zoom in. There we go. Come on. Turn. Keep going. Okay. Crazy cam reviews. Timing belt. Let's get that on. Get the cover back. Okay. Crankshaft pulley. Idle roller. Let's get that back. That's our brand new water pump R4. The baton belt, the belt tensioner, almost done. Serpentine time belt A. Uh, nothing left in the inventory. Is the job done? Yes. Five hundred and seventy-nine dollars earned. Sweet, and a bit more XP. The XP is the thing that's holding us back right now. That's the thing we need the most of. Right. Engine power has failed. That sounds reasonably interesting. Yeah, because I reckon when we start getting this, presumably that's going to be worth more money and XP because it's more difficult. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Still, you've got to do the grind. Now then. Spark plugs by the look of it. Two ignition coils. Unlikely to be something that we can repair. $60 a pop. Let's buy two of those. Get you on the lifter. Come on. Get in there. Right. Right. 
think it was some of those, wasn't it? Ignition coil. Ignition coil. Assembly mode. Wow. That was the easiest $200. <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> Just click a button and have $200. Okay. Filters need replacing. Filters need replacing. Do they indeed? Knocking noises. Sounds more interesting. Power steering pump R4. Possibly repairable. Not sure where it goes though. Power steering pump R4. Uh, I think we was that around the back somewhere. There it is. So to get that off, I guess we've got to take off these various belts, like this one. Serpentine A, then serpentine B, then the steering pump. Let's chuck it over to the repair center just in case. Nope. Steering pump R4 it is. Brand new as well. Steering pump R4. $115. Get rid of the old one. Assemble mode. Spin around and down. Zoom in. There we go. One bolt holds the steering pump. That's pretty scary stuff. Serpentine belt, belt tensioner, and we are done. Two hundred dollars, fourteen fifty-three XP. Almost hit the magical fifteen hundred, so we can get this lot. I'm hoping that's worth more money, but you know, repair all running gear faults. This provided car is hard to control. That's got a, a an olive green rather than a bright green. I see. It's olive green because the car is olive green. Really? Is that all it stands for? The colour of the car? Why do I even care? How disappointing. Okay. Oh my life! How much stuff? What are you what are you doing with your car? Okay, that's both wheels off. What have you done with this thing? I can't answer the phone, I'm busy fixing a guy who's wrecked his car. So both wheels are going to have to come off annoyingly. Mind you, they are pretty ugly wheels. I don't even know why there's a Sean in them because they're paintly steel wheel, steel rims. Sway bar, off you come. I'm going to do the same round here, then I have a look at my parts list. Tubeless steel belted radial. Not even got a brand name on it. I don't know, if you're going to buy your tyres from Asda, nothing I can do about that. Okay, that's got that. Now, sway bar front end link A, sway bar rear end link. Hold up there, sir. Oh, you've mashed this thing, haven't you? You really have. I think this guy's doing some rallying in his car. Either that or he's been over the speed ramps at McDonald's. At 1am with his pals. We need spring. Spring cap. Rear suspension arm A. Rear axle knuckle housing A. Well, that's got to come out. We've got to take out the boosh. <laughs> I 
think this thing... Yeah. Okay, let's disassemble. Clearly most of the damage is back here. This better be worth a few quid. Finally. Oh no, we still can't get at the knuckle. Why can't we? suspension housing arm A. Okay. Shock absorber. Condition unknown. Can we do it now? According to this, I've got to take off this entire arm. There's a lot more components in this version of the game. Oh, accessible from under car lifter. Are you kidding me? I'm stopping that one. We're just disassembling his entire car here. Right, before I lift it, I'm going to go and do this side. As is always the way with this game, there's an efficient way of doing it, and there's an inefficient way of doing it. And if you do it inefficiently, you'll find yourself up and down on that ramp. Condition unknown. Can we examine that? Not that. Can be examined by carrying out a test drive. Ugh. Spring cap. The spring cap's broken on one of them. Can we examine that? Oh, come on, dude! I have to test drive it to examine the state of the cap. But if I take it off, it tells me it's 73%. Like, what the heck? That doesn't make any sense. What about this, then? Suspension arm. 1%. Rear end link. I think that's got to come off. Where's it gone? That one. Rear end link is here. That's clearly, clearly that needs rip. Look at how rust on that. Spring cap. Accessible on the lifter. To take that off, I'm presuming we have to take all this off. Oh, this is going to be painful. Knuckle housing. Oh, oh, the pain. If you're a mechanic, though, it's fine. You just basically go in, well, you know, build by the hour, so the longer this takes me, the more that's going to cost you. There's a lot of components here. Take out the bush. Then take out the suspension arm. <laughs> this is crazy. No, what's now? Shock absorber. Okay. Finally. Ah, maybe I didn't need to do all that. The shock absorber was the only thing in the way. But, however... Pretty certain if it let us. Nope. Test bath only. I take it I can get that from the underside. Let's pop this thing up. Actually, that looks really bad, doesn't it? Surely that's got to come off. Yeah, that's got to come off. Uh, spring cap. Suspension arm. I've just taken, taken apart the entire rear section of this guy's car. And it still won't come off! <laughs> oh my god. Finally! Let's go over here. What about that? 
Is that okay? That looks okay. Okay, you're good to drive, mate. <laughs> Lol. I'm hoping something's repairable. 73, 72, they're all okay. None of those. Nothing needs repairing. Everything's purchased. Front end sway bar link A and a sway bar front end link A. Two of them. Sway bar front end link A is two of them. That is correct, isn't it? I'm not just making that up. Sway bar front end link A times two. Sway bar front end link A. Look at this parts list. Jeez. Gearbox, exhaust, brakes, running gear. Okay, rubber bushing one anymore? Spring cap one. One rubber bushing and one spring cap. Oh, it wasn't. Was it a normal rubber bushing? I hope so. <laughs> Spring cap. $45 for that. Jeez. It was a normal rubber bushing, which we have. That's fine. Spring cap. I'm just double checking everything as I go, because if I sell the wrong thing without replacing it, it's going to be so much harder to work out. Sway bar rear end link. Sway bar, sway bar, rear end link, that's this one. If only there was a way of accessing your inventory whilst on that computer. Sway bar, rear end link, you're good to go. Rear suspension arm A and a rear knuckle housing A. Rear knuckle. Can't spell knuckle. <laughs> no, what's wrong with that? Rear axle. Oh, God. Is that the right one now? See, now I'm worried. Running gear. Rear suspension arm A. And a... Was it a rear axle housing A? Rear axle knuckle housing A. Oh, I've got a suspension arm. Rear axle knuckle housing A. Rear axle knuckle housing A. This is a part list, this is. Jeez. Right, are they all good? I think the running gear's all good. Engine, brakes, good, exhaust, good, gearbox, body. So all of them, all of them now. Blimey, I hope I didn't mess that up. If I did, you'd probably sat there going, No, Square out, what you to do? You had one job. Okay, assembly. Let's get this thing going. Suspension arm. Sway. Let's get that in. Rubber bushing goes in here. Shock goes in there. Suspension arm goes in here. In many respects, assembly is actually easier. Spring cap. Spring and a cover, I seem to remember. Another cap. All of this, which I didn't really need to uh, remove, but hey ho. That's the inefficiency I was talking about. Pads. Caliper. Of course, at this point, you probably have to bleed the brakes as well. Rear suspension arm. OK, 
Okay, I think there's a bushing in there. That particular bushing needs a bolt going through it. Um, 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 is there anything else we can do from this side? I don't think there is. Let's go and have a look at this side. Knuckle housing. The wheel hub. Again, possibly inefficient with this bit. Brake disc. Wheel cub hat. Put the pads back on. Put the calipers back on. Rear suspension arm. Put that bushing back here while we can see it. Um, shock goes in. Suspension arm B goes in. What else have we got here? Suspension arm upper. That's three suspension arms this thing has. It has one laterally, one longitudinally, and one bracing over the top. Sway bar end. Got that little bush there. And the other suspension arm goes in here. Spring cap. Don't forget the spring. Jeez. Don't forget the shock cover. Let's have a look at the inventory now. Okay, we've got a wheel hub cap and two sway bars to put in. Now, the wheel hub cap's worrying me slightly. That is worrying me. Where the heck does that go? Camera, seriously, seriously, just let me see the damn car. Reverse. <laughs> right, cap goes here. Okay. Can you put the wheel back on from this angle? Wow. I actually thought you had to have it lowered to do that. I did not know that. I'm sure you never used to be able to do that in the old one. I'm sure you had to lower it. I mean, it makes sense in many ways. You should be able to put the wheel on from this, yeah? Okay, and we've got... I think the fronts are the sway bars, if I remember. Let's have a look. Assembly mode. There it is. Almost done, I think. Woo! I'm hoping for some serious pay dirt here. And round the other side. Come on. Thank you. Lots of parts. This guy's probably spent more on parts than he has on labour. But that'll teach him to go rallying around McDonald's car park, won't it? Okay, let's have a look. Inventory's empty. Uh... Order is $400? Wait a minute. Rubber bushing fixed. Wait a minute. We've missed a rubber bushing somewhere. No. It's got to be on the... Unless it's here. See, there's rubber bushings here that could be the problem. I doubt we're going to be able to examine this. Test path in it. We can test path it, or we can just take it out. Nope, that's 73. It's not that one. Come on. There's one there. It's the one there. Is that one? No, that's not one. It looks like it's got rubber bushings in there, but it's just treating that as an entire unit. Okay, let's go over here. Disassemble that rubber bushing. 73%, that one's good as well. Hmm, 
It must be at the rear then. Must be at the rear. Ugh, bang my head on everything. Uh, which one did we not do here then? Hang on, if only I can get a good camera view. What about that? Did we do that one? It wasn't that one. Hmm. That one? Hang on. Why can't I take that one out? What does it want to be removed? That looks actually perished. You can see that it's got dirt around it. Why? 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 Actually, let me look at this one over here. Yeah, they look clean. It's got to be that one. Visually, it looks bad, doesn't it? Do I just need to take the wheel... Yep, that's the one. Oh, you sneaky little rubber bushing. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I wonder if I get significantly more money now. Rubber bush. Still, I'm glad it wasn't like a, um, a tiny part just buried amongst everything, because I would have cried. This is how I put things back. I reach over the other side of the car and bolt it in. Okay, let's have a look at the order. Yeah, another $300 for that. That was worth putting that rubber bushing in. Finish! Woohoo! 1600 XP, $5,000 in the bank. Sweet! Okay, let me just have a look at this now. So now we can take these things, $500 jobs. Um... The other thing I might do is just go and have a look at the auction center. You need to buy parking first to store your car collection. Ah. How do we do that then? How do we buy parking? Do we do that on my computer? Bank loan. Body part shop. Blimey. Oh, nice. The wheel shop. Tuners. Oh, this is fantastic. Look at all this. There's so much kit here. These bits are like they're off a of Scania. Bank loan. Apply for a one-time $2,000 non-refundable finance. No. A one-time loan. Are these clickable? Whoa. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Um, seriously, how do I buy a car park? Okay, that's just a camera. Um, anything over here? Paint shop? You need to have 5,000 XP to get a paint shop. Path test is at two and a half. What? Parking. 9,000! 9, 9,000 XP to get a parking space? Right, so basically, what the game's saying is, I need a path test at 2.5, then I need a paint shop at 5, and then I need a car park at 9, and then I can go and buy a second-hand car. Harsh. Can we put MTV on? Nope. Alright, well, I guess we're going to do some more jobs then. 